Hey everybody, this is Matt's Amazing. This is part three in my breakpoint opening booster box pulley thing. And uh, I'm opening up some booster packs of the brand new breakpoint Pokemon trading card game set. And uh, let's see what we get. Really, really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what we get. We've gotten some really amazing stuff. If you want to go back and watch the first two videos, that'd be great. You know, we, we, I just want to, you know, I hope, I just, I, I want to just... Okay, uh, let's let's go, let's go. Okay, we're doing it. Okay, whenever I get rambling, I just click that button and it just gets me going. Okay, let's see. Now, a lot of these comments I'm probably gonna skip over because I've already gone over them in other videos. So if you want, if if I if, if you see a comment I I don't talk about, go back and watch one of the other videos as I probably talk about it at some point. Okay, Spirit Link. You, uh, uh, I don't like Spirit Links because they take up a space in a booster. And they're absolutely useless unless you pull that EX. Oh well. Stantler. Okay. I like Big Basics. 90 hit points. 1 energy. Flip a coin if heads. They're confused. Eh, that's okay. 2. 30 plus. If, the, if you have any Mega Evolution Pokemon on your bench, it does 80 instead. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad if you have a Mega Evolution on your bench. But if you have a Mega Evolution on your bench, why are you not attacking with the Mega Evolution? Because the Mega Evolution will probably do more than 80 damage, wouldn't you think? I mean, like, there's not a lot of Mega Evolutions that are, like, support cards. You know, like, things you would just sit on the bench and just have you have an ability that's really useful. Most of them are just like, I want to attack and take prizes. So it seems kind of weird that you would retreat it and then put a double colorless on this dude to do 80 damage. Maybe you're just stalling for a turn? Maybe maybe you have a way to move energy off the Mega EX and put it on a Stantler and attack with it while you max potion. I still don't, I don't know. I don't know if this card, if it said like if you had an EX Pokemon on your bench it does 80, then yeah, you could just easily get that done. Boom. But a Mega EX, maybe if you're like, Maybe if it's like Mega Groudon EX, and it just takes so much energy that slowly it takes so time, so so much time to power up that you need to do the big charge before you can get it powered up. That's not horrible. It's not a bad card. I could see its uses, so I'm happy to get it. Second, third eye, Great Ball. Okay, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Come on, I'm good. Hey, Meganium me EX. I don't know if it's good or not, but let's see. 150 hit points. Hey, dude, that's only like 20 less than some EXs. Oh, um, interesting. If this Pokemon's remaining hit points is 50 or less, its attacks do 70 more damage to the opponent's active Pokemon. So wait, if its hit points is 50 or less, it does 70 more. Okay. 3 for Green Force. 3 for 50. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if its hit points are at a, a 50, then you hit for 120 and you'll heal for 120. Now, I guess the sweet point is, the perfect scenario is you have 30 hit points left. And, well, okay, no, regardless. I mean, unless you have 20 or 10 hit points left, you're going to go back to full. Because if you have 50 hit points left, so you're missing 100 hit points, you'll heal yourself for 120, you're going back to full. So, this Pokemon could be pretty hard to KO, unless you do 150. No, no, you'd have to do 130 or 40 or 150. If you only if you can only do like 120 damage to it, you will never KO it. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. You know what? It's always bugged me in the past that you f you see these Pokemon cards and they say heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to the opponent's active Pokemon, but then all you do is like 10 or 20 damage and you're just like, whoa oh boy, 10 damage, 20 damage, I gotta heal that. But this is something you can heal 120 damage. Do, 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 do. Even better, even better. Muscle band. That means you could come back from a hundred. You could come back from ten hit points and hit him for a hundred and forty and heal a hundred and forty. Holy flip! I'm liking this card. I kind of want to build that. I kind of want to build that. Now that I've like done thought about it a little bit, with a muscle band, you're healing a hundred and forty every time you attack. Even if they just hit you for seventy. Heal 140. Hit you for 50. Heal 140. No, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. Never. Right. If they hit you for 70, you'll heal back 70 with a muscle band. If they hit you for 80, you'll heal only back 70. So it's kind of tricky. 
it's kind of tricky because for you to heal back the huge amount of damage, you got to be at 50 hit points or less. So if, if they hit you, let's say, let's say if they hit you to 60, so if they hit you for 90, okay, if they hit you for 90 and knock you down to 60 hit points, and then you have a muscle band, you could heal back, you could heal 70 of that back and be back at 130. And then they would have to hit you for 130 to KO you, basically. It's very weird. This is almost like a chess game. You know, just like, well, I have to hit this, hit them for a specific amount. That's very hard to do in the Pokemon training card game. Because you're limited to how much damage you can do by whatever it reads down here, you know? That's a very interesting card. I At first, I didn't think much of it. But thinking about how much you can heal... And how much, how far you can come from it. I think what will like make or break this Meganium is what tool you have attached to it. Like I said, the Muscle Band means you're healing more. Uh, you could even have um, uh, that that one tool that reduces all damage by 20. So like then it's like even more of a math game. Like, but if I hit him for 90, then he only takes 70. But then does that mean he down it? You know. Um, you could even have I don't know. There's a whole bunch of tools out there. That's really, really interesting card. I'm really happy to pull that. All right, let's see what we get. Come on, give us some good. Give us some good. Hey, give Gibble, Gibble, and goodbye in the same booster pack. If we get the guard chomp, I'm flipping my wig. You can't even see my hair, but I will flip my wig. That would just be the perfect sealed booster pack. You will like roast people in sealed. Gibble, one for one fighting, never enough. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw two cards. That's not horrible it's not horrible if you if you have to start out with gibble and you're just like oh my hands crap then discard a card draw all two cards it's not the worst start and like goodbye one energy one energy i mean they're really good i mean they're actually pretty decent slow bro uh 100 hit points one water flip a coin of heads it does 60 instead of 10 i don't like the odds of that at all Three colorless. If you use this attack when you have only one prize card left, you win the game. Oh. If you use this attack when you have only one prize card left, you win the game. But it takes three colorless. So, like, are you, like, sitting there on the... building up on the bench? I mean... I mean, if you got the first five prizes, why can't you get the sixth one? I don't know. I mean, I, I wish it said... I wish it said... If your opponent only has one prize card left, you win the game. That would be so messed up. People would be like playing melodic and blowing them up. Take a prize, take a prize. They'd be like self-destructing electrodes, take a prize. I win the game! But this is not so interesting. This is... Really makes me wonder. If you can afford to put three energy on slow, bro. Why are you not putting that three energy on something that can just KO something and win the game? It's not hard to like... Lysander up a Shaman and KO it, or Lysander up something weak and KO it for that last prize. I, I don't know. It's it's interesting. Give it. I give it that. It's interesting. You win the game. It's like Exodia, but I don't think it's that. I don't think it's ever really gonna happen that much. Okay, go on the next card. Hey, Lily again. We talked about another video. Boohoo is really interesting. Okay, let's go on to another. Yeah, the Boohoo is really interesting. You have to go back and watch another video if you want to hear me talk about it, because I did talk about it in a little bit of depth. Okay, I think we've talked about all these before. Talk about it, talk about Per Ugly, we talked about that. Rally, we talked about that. Let's see what we get. Hey! Scissor EX! Nice. Nice. No, 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 no. no. Nice. That's better than nice. That's better than nice. I'm going to use this because I haven't used it yet. Yes! That's awesome! That is pretty awesome. Scissor EX, not my favorite EX in the set. That's probably Darker EX. Uh, one 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 metal for twenty. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by twenty. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's that interesting of an attack. Uh, Gale Thrust, two metal. Um. 50 plus, if this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack did 60 more damage. Now, this is one of your This is a cool attack. So, so what it's saying is, if it was on your bench this turn and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 110 for 2 energy. 
that's pretty cool because that will 2k that will 2 hit ko most exs and mega exs i think 220 about that one cool combo with this is using the uh the um oh oh what is it matt ba brain work brain work zoro arc that was in um breakthrough um basically it could uh switch where you're active and then you put a float stone on the Zoro arc, and then you retreat for free back in a Scissor EX. And you can do that every turn for the 110, 110, swap out 110, swap out 110, swap out 110. That's pretty cool. The first attack is weak. I mean, what's reducing things by 20 really going to hurt you? Unless they're like Seismitoad EX, and they're doing so little to begin with. Like, what is minus 20 really going to hurt? I mean, even if you had the stadium out, the two-sided stadium, so you take, like, 10 less, so you're taking minus 30. And let's say you even had the trainer, the, the tool on you, the minus 20 even further. So everything is minus 50. I guess at that point, you've devoted an entire deck to that minus 50. But all you're doing is 20 damage then. <laughs> Big whoop, 20 damage. <laughs> I just don't like Still Wing at all, but Gale Thrust is really cool, has a really cool effect, and I'm kind of happy to get it. I may trade the Scissor EX away, though. I don't, I'm not sold on it. Okay, got three more booster packs to open up for this video. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. What we're going to pull. Okay, got another Burst and Balloon. That's a card. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, I've talked about it in the past. Ooh, Lapras! I love Lapras! Uh, 120 hit points, which is great for a basic. Uh, Aaron Run, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. A trainer card. So, I guess you could go get an item, a say anymore, a tool, or a supporter. I guess you could get anything, basically, other than a Pokemon and an energy. Um, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. I mean, if you start with it and you're like, I really need that rare candy so I can rare candy next turn. That's not bad. I mean, it, it has two retreats, so it's not as easy to get off the bench. I know there is a, a Mana Fee EX in the set that says any of your water Pokemon that have water energy attached to it as, as are free retreaters. So that would work really good here. Uh, three for 80, flip a coin, and just 20 more. I don't know if you really want to attack with it. And I actually like the other Lapras better. I think it's from X and Y. For two energy, it does like... 30 plus 20 more for each water energy or something like that uh, or something like that I like that a little bit better um, I, I think I like the XY, XY Lapras a little bit better but that's because I don't know this is okay okay are we gonna get a break are we gonna get a break are we gonna get a break you never know what you're gonna get behind one of these cards life is a box of chocolates forest you never know what you're gonna get you know that right Mrs. Gump okay let's see we're gonna get a break Oh, we got a crappy camera up. Okay, well, I already talked about it before. Let's see what we get. Hey, Clefable. I think we got that before, too. Okay, next next booster. Okay, so not the not the best pull. Not the best pull. Okay, I think... Okay, Trubbish. 1 for 10, flip a coin and pet, discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Hey, that's not bad. Any any time where you can discard an energy attached to their active Pokemon is not bad. And... It's not a basic you'll likely be playing anyways, but the two retreat hurts it. Because it means you can't just stall with it for like a turn or two and then free then retreat, get out get out of dodge. But a lot of people are gonna be playing floatstone with Garbod or Garbodor? Garbodor, yeah. Garbodor. So you could you could ask its braid for a turn and then 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 a floatstone, which you need to do it anyways, and free retreat. So it's not bad, not bad. I actually like that. Uh, I think we've looked at everything else. Hey look, Palpatoad. 2 for 20 plus, flip a coin and heads, attack does 20 more damage. Okay. Actually, not that good. 3 for 60. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess. See what we get. Are we gonna get a, are we gonna get a break? I think we're gonna get a break. Are we gonna get a break? I don't know. Please. I really want a break. Oh, that's, okay. Yes! That's awesome! That is awesome. I like that better than a break. I like that better than a break. That is the new car chomp that is so kick butt you never know in a million years. It's kick butt. I don't know what I just said, but okay. For, so 130 hit points for a stage 2. It's okay, okay. 1 for 60. 1 for 60! 1 for 60, that's good damage. Attach an energy card from your discard pot to one of your Pokemon. What? And it's 